at the tax sale over here. Just got beat by Corey, but good for him. Um, baseball stars, volleyball, and rampage. And all together were 15 bucks, so it's not bad. Later. At the sale over here, just picked up the off-road, road riot, and top gear too, with all with manuals, and they were 15 bucks for all three. Later. I am in Springfield, Massachusetts. I just picked up a small collection, mostly PS3, a couple of Nintendo 64s, and some other stuff. And all together was 100 bucks, but I should be able to make most of my money. Actually, all of my money back and then some, so. At the pawn shop over here, decided to go a little new school. So I got a Resident Evil 2 and Final Fantasy 15, the Deluxe Edition, both of them, for 25 bucks. Which is a good deal for me. Later. At the pawn shop over here, just Contra 4 and 9.99. And all together were 15 bucks. Not bad. Later. At the house over here, picked up a whole bunch of Saturn games, including Dragon Force. All together was 200. <laughs> this was a Facebook deal. Picked up 11 Saturn games for 270 bucks. There are some good titles, including Street Fighter Alpha and um, Dragon Force. That belongs to Robert Mitchell. And all together was 270 bucks, so not a bad deal. Later. All right, guys, so I got two packages today in the mail. One of them is from Collector's Luck. He was kind enough to get me this game at GameStop for a really good price. Um, this, I believe, I don't have it in my area. So for the price that I paid, it was a really good pickup. And that game was SNK Heroines. It's actually a fighting game, cool game. Can't wait to play it. It's for the Switch. Maybe give it to the wife. It's sealed. I'm not going to say how much she paid, but it was very kind of you to get it for me. So, thank you so much, Collector's Luck. Make sure to check out his channel. Great, great pickups all the time. Make sure to check them out. Then the second was unexpected. I got it from the one and only Tyler Stevenson, or, we, you know, Steve. Great guy. Um, we have exchanged a couple of things, so I'm not really sure what he sent, but I, whatever it is, it's got to be cool because he sent it. So, and that was the Street Fighter PS4, the anniversary collection. Um... I mentioned to him in the group that I wanted this, so I'm very happy that he sent it to me. Um, it's basically all the Street Fighter games in one, so I'm very happy, very grateful. Again, Steve is a great guy. Make sure to check out his channel. Um, Tyler Stevenson is a great guy. Collector's Luck also. Please check them both out. The links will be down below, and I will talk to you later. All right, guys, so here are my pickups for the last week or so. As always, we'll do pawn shops, flea markets, thrift stores, and everything in between. The week was good. I was able to pick up a lot of stuff for different systems. I actually picked up maybe for at least 10 different systems, so I'm very happy to get that. But we'll start with something different. I'll start with the bad pickup of the week. Um, this was an, I believe, Facebook. Actually, no, Craigslist. The lady contacted me saying that, has, saying that she has some games. I agreed to 100 bucks because all the stuff that it was, but when I saw it, the condition of everything was pretty bad. Um, this is basically the 360 and the PS3 stuff. Really nothing good. Maybe the Far Cry, the, the, the com compilation right here. But besides that, the N64s. I picked up two N64s. They were both in bad shape. They still have the memory thing, so the expansion pack or whatever that's called. So I'll be able to use that. A Wii, it also had a 
Wii U, the gamepad was broken. I was able to sell that. The console I sold for like 40 bucks. I may be able to show everything in here so you can see exactly what I paid for everything. I also had a Mario Bros that I sold for Super Mario 64 that I sold for 27 bucks. And I think I sold a, a Mario or a new Mario Bros Wii U. And all together I was able to get the 100 bucks back. But really, a bad, that, bad deal on my part. I should have done more research. I should have asked more, more questions. But it's one of those things. That you live and you learn. We'll continue with the good stuff now. Very grateful. Um, collector's luck. Gave me SNK heroines. Um, I paid. I won't say how much I paid. But basically he was able to find that where he's at. Sealed. Brand new. And I'm, I'm having a hard time finding this around here. So I'm very happy to pick this up. Make sure to check out his channel. And I also picked up or actually was sent to me. Um, Street Fighter 20th Anniversary Collection. This is by Tyler Stevenson. Again, I didn't ask for this. He just sent it. He's such a great guy. Again, make sure to check out the channels. Um, both links will be down below. At a Goodwill, pick this case. It had actually Animal Crossing and Mario Strikers. I sold Mario Strikers for 25 and Harvest Moon actually sold for 20 So for 20 bucks, I made 45 bucks out of that. This was at a Goodwill. Mortal Kombat, the, the Alliance. I didn't have the manual for this. And it was four bucks, so not a bad deal there. At Pawn Shop, picked up Final Fantasy Deluxe Edition. This is the steel case, and I paid 25 bucks because I also picked up Resident Evil 2. And um, for that, I paid 25. Like I said, this game by itself goes for about 30. Maybe this is 10 to 15, so not a bad deal there. At a garage sale, picked up these three games for 15 bucks. Top Gear 2 came with the manual. Um, Roll Riot also came with the manual. And actually, like this. And Super Off Road, I think it's Baja. And that also came with the manual. And they were all, all together, 15 bucks. Maybe this game is about 20 bucks, but besides that, it's just I needed this manual. So I just picked it up for the right price. At another pawn shop, picked up Pantra 4 and 9.99 for 15 bucks. Contra 4 should go for 15. 9.99 is going to my wife, and it's maybe like a $20 game. At another garage sale, got beat to, by Corey this time. He got there before me, but I was able to pick up Rampage, Baseball Stars, and Volleyball for 15 bucks or five bucks a piece. At duh, 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 duh. the flea market, this was a really good deal. I went there early, and he had a lot of stuff sitting in front of his place. I paid five bucks a piece for everything you're about to see. The Game Boy, and actually the Game Boy had Donkey Kong in it. I should be able. To, it works really well, so I should be able to sell that for fifty bucks. Golden Eye, which is a twenty dollar game. Sell that Ocarina of Time, maybe another $20 game. Mario Golf is 15 to 20. And Castlevania, this should be also between 15 to 20. And the best game out of that lot was Harvest Moon. Maybe this game used to go for 6 to $70. Now it's down to maybe 35 But still, to pick them up for 5 bucks a game is just excellent, excellent deal. So, copy of Harvest Moon. I also picked up at another Goodwill. NCAA College Hoops 99. I thought I had it. I don't know what happened. I couldn't find it, so I just picked it up. Um, this next thing was a Facebook deal that took a while to get. Um, Robert Mitchell needed certain games. Have G's needed certain games, and then I wanted the rest. I, you know, after all is said and done, I'm gonna end up paying forty bucks for the stuff that I am going to keep. Um, so it's a Saturn lot. Saturn lot. It's expensive, but it's really good stuff. At, at least the last four games. Um, one of the first game is Black Fire. I get to keep that for my collection. Really not an expensive game, maybe ten to fifteen bucks. Robo Pit, the same thing. I don't have it, so I get to get to keep it. Um, maybe a ten to fifteen dollar game. The Cathalie is maybe maybe ten bucks, and I get to keep that. Independence Day, another maybe twenty dollar game. I'll keep that. Buster Move two, another twenty to twenty five dollar game. Tetris Plus is maybe. 
a $30 game, so that's not bad. Clockwork Knight, maybe $30 to $40 game. And I'll get to keep that. The game that I really wanted to keep out of everything was Street Fighter 2 Alpha. And I'm very happy to get that. Uh, this game I will get to sell, Panzer Dragoon. I will sell it for $65, 70, 70 bucks, So that's not bad. Um, and then the games that are going to have these is going to get Norse by Northwest. This is the Lost Vikings. Um, it's a game that goes between 70 and 80 bucks easy. So that's a great deal there. And then the best out of the lot. And this is going to Robert Mitchell. Um, he's been looking for this game for a while. And it's a quite, you know, it's an expensive game. It goes for about 170, maybe 170 to 180 bucks. Um, it's Dragon Force. It's a working design title, sorry. And it's just a cool game. It's an RPG that he was looking for. It, it, the disc is in good condition. The manual is in good condition. It also has a registration card. Again, this is a game that goes for between 170 and 180 dollar game. Altogether, I paid 270, but everybody's getting what they want and. At the end of the day, I'm out of pocket. I should be between 60 and 70 bucks. And then the last deal of the day, it was a garage sale. Went there early, got there early, and was able to pick everything that you're about to see for 50 bucks. Picked up 1080 snowboarding, South Park for the N64, Off Road Challenge, Doom for the Switch, sealed. And I already sold this for 40 bucks. Um, Crusty's Funhouse I get to keep for my collection. Chester Cheetah. Too cool to fool. To fool. And that is maybe like a complete, believe it or not, it's a $40 game. Um, I also picked up a few Dreamcast games and a PlayStation game, Jurassic Park for the PS1. Hydro Thunder, which is maybe, maybe a $20 game. In here is Gundam. And something else. Gundam and Mortal Kombat Gold are inside of this. Arrow Wings. San Francisco Rush 2049, which is maybe like a $30 to $35 game. Incoming, which I don't know anything about. Can't be that expensive. Um, Armada is maybe like a $20 to $25 game. Toy Commander, also something that I get to keep from my collection. And then I picked up. The pickup of the week. So, the pickup of the week was Battle Toes for the Genesis. This Battle Toes, for some reason, it goes between 60 and 70 bucks. I already have the box version for the NES, and I'm very happy to pick up that, this copy. Um, it's a very hard game. I'm looking forward to playing it. I know it's hard to beat, but it's a game that I didn't have and a game that I wanted. Um, it's not the most expensive game in the world, but between 60 and 70 bucks. But again, my pickups of the week had nothing to do with price. It's just with the stuff that I want. The week was a really good week. was able to pick up some major stuff, a lot of stuff from a lot of different systems. I can't even think of how many different systems I picked up this week. So I am very happy about that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. Later.